What is up YouTube? My name is Dave with NEM Productions and today I'm going to bring you a little color correction video. I'm just trying to help you if you're streaming or recording with the Open Broadcast uh, Studio or any of the OBS software. Uh, a lot of people, they have like washed out uh, colors and things like that. So I thought I would just show you how to improve your overall quality. Uh, it's all really a preference based also it depends on like what kind of computer you have or anything like that uh so i thought i would just give you kind of what i use and um yeah trying to help you guys out again uh so hopefully you like this tutorial if you do smash that like button uh share it with your friends subscribe to the channel for more content and let's get right into it um as you can see right here i got my webcam in the elgato we're talking about the elgato today uh, so the very first thing that you're going to want to do is double click the Elgato. It will bring you up to this main little screen here. And then if you go down to the scroll wheel right over here, you'll see resolution FPS type. You're going to want to go to custom. If you know anything about Elgato, um, 1920 by 1080, and it does record at 60 frames. Also your color. Um, I do a 709 color. It seems to work the best for me. And you always want to have a full range of color. Always. You never want partial color or anything like that. And then you'll hit OK. And it'll take a minute to just kind of uh, take in all the corrections. So just give it. You'll kind of see the screen blip a little bit. Also, you'll be able to turn it on and off um, by like looking at the eye and things like that. So it already looks a little bit better. Um, but let's get to the actual color correction part here. If you go to Elgato and right click, you're going to go to filters. Uh, you go to filters and then you click the plus down here on the effect filters. And you go to color correction and hit OK. And this is where personal preference and all that is going to um, get in contact. So right now we're going to look at the gun here. It looks pretty good, looks pretty good, not too bad. Um, you can enhance that a little bit. Uh, so I always turn my gamma up just a tiny bit. And then I also turn my contrast. Uh, if you just kind of play with it, you'll see what you like. Um, but I usually keep it at a 23. And then I like to bring down the tones a little bit of the brightness. So I always go to like 3 or 4. And it just it kind of makes everything look more realistic like the whole game should have been let's go look at something else um so yeah that's basically it that is what i use in my own color correction that's how you know it'll quickly you know it's so if you if you try it out you can use what i use or you can you know always mess with it if you want a little darker color make it a little darker um let's bring it back up here if you want maybe a little more contrast of your colors maybe do like a little 40 here maybe maybe 30 how about 30 uh click the plus button again and then i always like to sharpen up the image just a tiny bit um i usually go to roughly about a not a one woohoo not a one um about a 10 or so um, 10 usually works out. Maybe if you want to drop it a little more and go to like a, like a 5 just to get a little sharper there. We'll close it out and now we'll take a look at the gun again. Just a little tutorial for you guys. If you do like this color correction video on the OBS Software Studio Edition, let me know. Drop a thumbs up. If you have any questions, leave comments down below. I will answer them as soon as possible. And until next time, YouTube. I'll see you later.